Okay, I want to talk about the next steps that I've been doing. So after I rinsed out the leather to get as much of the tea out as possible, because you don't want to work with, um, you know, tea, the tea, um, and then it'll just leach all over the place. So you try and get it out as much as you can. You can see it's really brittle. Um, <clears throat> so this has just been sitting there to get ready for me to soften. And I decided to use coconut grease to soften. And I started working on softening. And when you soften, you work with it a little bit damp. And you, you put the coconut grease on your hands and rub it on your hands get it all melty and then you grease the scale side and then you roll it up into a ball it's a little bit easier when it's wet and you go like this and once you get it into that I might just actually add some grease while I talk to you <clears throat> roll it up. It's supposed to be moist. It's not moist because I wasn't thinking of that stuff. Get into like a cigarette and you have the, it's damp. It's supposed to be damp and with grease on it and you just roll it between your hands and you do that until all the liquid's gone and I didn't do that with this one and you can tell because it's still kind of crispy. Like it feels, you can hear it. <clears throat> so I decided to really work on one and you can see this is really like leather because it's really flimsy you can't hear that crispy sound and then once I finished um, greasing it with the coconut grease I um, use some old salve and I put it on top just so that it gets that nice shiny look I really love this look because it's a it's a nice brown, but it almost seems burgundy sometimes. <laughs> and you can really see the texture of the fish skin. That's going to look really beautiful. And my next step is to make, um, make something out of this. And I think I'm going to make a medicine pouch. So, yeah, I'm super excited about that. Okay, bye.